Hey, fellow babies, welcome back to Pactor Factor on Sifted.net. Uh, we're especially happy that we have our so many Patreon patrons here, and we have a ton of YouTube subscribers. That's great. Um, if you're doing that, thank you very much. If you're not doing that, or even if you are, please try to remember to link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. We get paid. Amazon pays it, you pay nothing. You are sticking it to Amazon. That's an awesome thing for you to do to help Shane. This episode of Pactor Factor is brought to you by DeShazer Ryan Realty. Right now, Doug DeShazer has beautiful lots available adjacent to Kukanusa Lake in Northwest Montana. Pull up your RV and access the hookups or build your own construction. Either way, you have access to world-class fishing, hunting, boating, swimming, biking, hiking, and the internet. No matter where you're looking to buy, make Doug DeShazer your real estate consultant at 406-291-1643. That's Doug DeShazer at 406-291-1643. Today's question from Sifted from Erebus Jones. Hey, Pac, being sure to name names and point fingers, what is the absolute dumbest thing you've seen a video com- game company do and why? And just for the good vibes, it's the smartest decision you've ever seen a gaming company make. I think buying Bungie for $3.6 billion was about the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um, I think EA's mobile strategy for the last 15 years is about the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Everything they do. Buying Glue, Codemasters, Playdemic, um, and their revenues have barely budged. Um, and I'll give you a great example. EA just reported uh, their mobile revenue for the quarter was $290 million. Uh, Glue was over 600 million a year, so 150. Playdemic was over 100 million a quarter, so 250. Codemasters was over 100 million a quarter, so 350. And EA's portfolio was about 250, so they should be doing 600 million. And after spending all those billions of dollars on on those companies, they're doing half that. Why? Because they bought bad games and they shut down a lot of them and their games were bad and they shut down a lot of them. And Will they ever get it right? Yeah, I think they will. But it was dumb. Uh, so many dumb moves. Uh, all of EA's purchases of uh, of Pandemic uh, back in the day. The, uh, I forgot the stealth game they made. Uh, it was like a Saboteur. A, Saboteur. I should say Agent. Yeah, Saboteur. Um, that was bad. Uh, Playfish acquisition was bad. Um, we can argue about uh, Popcap because uh, because Plants vs Zombies is okay, but they overpaid for it. Uh, so many bad decisions. Uh, Amazon getting into games, dumb. Uh, they're terrible at it. And, you know, they'll tell you they're huge successes. But the new world, whoa, huge. Um, terrible. Um, boy, I can I can go for like two hours. Wii U. Uh, yeah, Wii U. Uh, Sony handheld, dumb. Um there are so many. I, 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 I will, I'll never end if I talk about dumb. Smartest decision ever. Um, this is this is really a. It, it's something that I didn't see coming when they did it. But I think figuring out how to integrate free to play with a console game experience is the smartest thing. I've ever seen in the industry, and I was skeptical that it could happen. And the inventor of that might have been Andrew Wilson at EA, so I'm criticizing him for a lot of things, but FIFA Ultimate Team, I think, is about the smartest thing I've ever seen. Figuring out that we've got these 20 million, 25 million people who buy FIFA every year, and all they want to do is just build like the best team possible and play more soccer. And we're going to f- come up with this way to buy players and and develop them and make their skills better and put together your fantasy ultimate team. And we're going to monetize to the tune of $800 million a year. Amazing. And everybody who emulated that, so GT Online emulated that and has been a phenomenal success. So take two, Sam Hauser, Strauss, and Lick. Uh, Activision took way too long to figure that shit out with Call of Duty, but they did. Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Mobile kind of integrated into the experience. Um, That's just the smartest thing I've ever seen because these guys have taken a theatrical pay experience, you know, from releasing a $70 game and turned it into an ongoing multiplayer experience that allows you to monetize again and again and again. 
Um, I think that is the most brilliant thing I've ever seen in gaming. But, you know, I could give you hundreds and hundreds of examples of brilliant things in gaming. Um, I got to say, probably the coolest, smartest thing I've ever seen in games is EVE Online. And there's not very many players, so, you know, the guys watching this, I'd be surprised if there are more than two of you who have played it. Yeah. But EVE Online is the perfect game. And I say that because it has this perfectly balanced economy where you can do everything without spending money or you can save time and spend money. And if you do build something that's really cool, you can sell it to other players, which is really smart. I'd say the guys who, who first invented Second Life, brilliant. Just the idea, just what they put into that. Um, but again, as far as gaming innovation, Half-Life turning into Counter-Strike, pretty what about amazing. PlayStation making games for adults? Is that not the smartest thing ever? They Maybe stopped not. making games for kids. They made games for adults. That changed the entire industry. And I'm well, talking about like making games with well, like dude, adult situations. But there were PC games with, like, like swearing that. swearing and violence but there and was gore. Duke Nukem and Doom. I mean, those existed Those were like PC. childish though. I'm talking about like real games for adults with stories that adults care about, I, characters I, adults care about. I'm not saying any of this because I don't believe that's, okay. that's that. What anyway. about um, the move to 3D games, polygonal games instead of 2D games? Is that... Tech. The tech allowed it. I yeah, but somebody had to be willing to look at that tech and say, you know what, we're going to dump five billions of R and D to make a three D concept. Not somebody, everybody. I don't think that's that's a smart decision. I think that's everybody did it because they had to do it. It changed everything. It made gaming from a kid's hobby to something it's okay for adults to do. That changed everything. That's when the market went from like selling. 15 million consoles per generation to 250 million PlayStation 2s. Uh, yeah, that's, I, don't All share, right. I don't share that. Just thought I'd throw it out there. That's not the most impressive thing I've seen. To me, that was seizing an opportunity, but if, if they didn't do it, somebody else would have. Uh, so thank you for joining us on Pact or Factor on Sifted.net. Uh, thank you to our Patreon patrons and our YouTube subscribers. Thanks to all of you who are uh, smart enough and, and have the initiative to actually read the instructions below and link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. You don't have to be smart. You just have to want to do it. So please want to do it because you're sticking it to Amazon. You're helping chain out. So I'm asking you as a favor to me, please try to remember to link your accounts. You got to do it every month or so. So do it so we get paid, please. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Michael Pactor. I will see you guys next time.